It's time now for your weekly fishing reports and real-time outdoor news. This is the Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by Chevy Silverado, the official truck of the outdoors. Hi everybody, right now we are in one of my favorite times of the year for fishing. It's the springtime spawning season. No, not for white bass, that's finished. No, not for crappie, that's done. No, not for largemouth bass, that's finished too. Right now, the month of June is one of the hottest times of the year for catfish around our four states. The channel and blue catfish particularly are moving up shallow when that water temperature gets in the mid to upper 70s, close to 80 degrees, and they will begin spawning. And when they do, you can catch them very easily. Also this week, I'd like to welcome you into beautiful Squaw Creek Lake. This lake is located near Glen Rose, Texas. It's a power plant lake owned by Luminant, and it's a place where you can come fish on the weekends, and it is loaded with catfish. We hope to show that to you on today's show. And while I'm doing that, we're taking you around our region for your very latest fishing reports from lakes, rivers, and bays across the Southwest with Bill Olson down on the Texas Gulf Coast, Brian Hughes in Texas Freshwater, Cajun Phil and Kevin in Louisiana, and Gary Dallahan up in Oklahoma. On this week's Lawrence Hot Lake of the Week, I'll be showing you South Texas Anglers, one of the hottest lakes to catch catfish in your area. We'll also have your big fish photo on the big catch of the week, the latest equipment feature on the Academy Right Stuff, and expert answers to your fishing questions on the Ask the Pro. Right now, I'm going to be launching one of my favorite little aluminum fishing boats. This is the brand new Bass Tracker Pro Angler 16. Loaded with features, all cram packed into a compact, fantastic little fishing boat. I'll show you some of those features a little later on. But right now, back to the FSN Studios you go. Here's the Chevy Weekend Plan. Let's take a look at the Salooner tables to help plan your weekend fishing trip. Saturday looks promising with the best possible conditions predicted, while Sunday is listed as good. Peak times will start Saturday afternoon around 1.30. Expect the sun to rise at 6.21 a.m. and set at 8.32 p.m. And we just had a new moon on Wednesday, so evenings will feature a moon that is only 10% visible. If you need something to do on Saturday, Chevy Kidfish is sponsoring events in Texas at both Lake Fork Marina and in Pflugerville. Go to the Kidfish website for all the information. Stay with us, we've got updates from around our entire region, and I'll be back with your Ask a Pro question a little bit later. The Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by Chevy, is brought to you by Chevy Silverado, the official truck of the outdoors. Buy quality award-winning tracker boats. Fish the finest. Lawrence, maker of the HDS, high-definition system, and Academy, right stuff, low price, every day. Got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it, got it. Oh, there's a catfish. First one. Hey, welcome back everybody. This is your Southwest Outdoors Report. Talking about catfishing today. Oh, look at that. That's a fat female right there. The catfish are spawning right now all over our Southwest region. And I want you to look, here's what I'm talking about. The belly on this catfish is huge if I can get her to settle down just for a minute. Look at the fat belly on that baby. All right, well, let's get you going here and let's start off by, as soon as I unhook him, by telling you the very first thing about a catfish. That's a channel catfish right there. We'll put him in the live well. I'm gonna show you where that fish was. Right here in front of me, is the absolute perfect spot to catch spawning catfish. They want to spawn around rocks. So if you can find a place like this that's got flat rocks that come off into fairly shallow water, three to five feet deep, that is the perfect place to find and locate these spawning catfish. They love to get in the cracks and underneath the ledges of these rocks and lay their eggs. Now any kind of rocks will work, big boulders, rock riprap along dams, any of that kind of territory will work. But the best are these flat rocks that slope off 
out into the water, and it's even better if you've got deep water nearby. All right, we've got catfish working here. Squaw Creek Lake near Glen Rose, Texas. Right now, though, let's check in with Brian Hughes, the rest of your freshwater fishing in Texas. Hi, everybody, and welcome to this week's Lone Star Lakes, brought to you by realrecovery.org. Now, the first Saturday in June is always National Fishing Day, and Texas Parks and Wildlife has many activities planned in their state parks and other venues, including Eisenhower State Park and Purtis Creek State Park. They also have a big event at the Texas Freshwater Fishery Center. Now, you can find out more about these events at tpwd.state.tx.us.com. In addition, Go Fish Texas is a program that will be extending over the next several months, and you can find out more about that at the same website with a slash and Go Fish Texas. Now, free fishing is also in effect at all of our area waters on National Fishing Day. That means no fishing license is necessary on any public body of water. This is part of the program where you didn't have to have a license in state parks, but right now it extends to the entire state. However, keep in mind, normal catch limits and links do apply for these events. Now, let's check in with Mr. Bill Olson. He's on the coast. Hi folks, this week's report is brought to you by Port Aransas on Mustang Island. Surrounded by pristine bays, estuaries, and the deep blue waters of the Gulf of Mexico, Port A is truly the fishing capital of Texas. Come fish, golf, and play Texas Island style. For more information, visit the website on the screen. Well, this weekend begins what many anglers consider the very best month of the year for fishing Texas coastal inshore waters. In fact, some say you can throw anything in your tackle box in June and get bit. Baffin Bay has been sizzling as big quality speckled trout have been caught around the rocks near the mouth of Baffin all the way up to Center Reef and the Tide Gauge Bar. San Antonio Bay has also seen plenty of action around its reefs. Now the best area is where a break in the reef occurs and along the deeper edges. San Luis Pass has also seen good activity. Anglers fishing behind Bird Island and Galveston Island have scored. Sabine Lake is giving up some good specks and reds on the birds in the main lake as well as around Bessie Heights area. Red snapper fishing has been excellent. In fact, the National Marine Fishery Service increased the weight of the allowable recreational catch due to the increasing size of red snapper. This weekend, Saturday has a single high tide as the only tide of the day. This Sunday, well, there's a single tide schedule of one high and one low tide. I'm Bill Olson, and I'll see you on the coast. Hey, I mentioned today that I'm fishing out of my brand new Bass Tracker Pro Angler 16 fishing boat. It's jam-packed and loaded up with all the features you'd ever want in a boat, including carpet throughout, elevated front and rear casting decks, upholstered seats, console with a windshield, Lowrance Electronics, motor guide trolling motor, aerated live well, and much more for a price you will not believe you can own this boat for. Check it out, the Tracker Marine website at the address you see on your screen. Hey, we'll be right back to catch more channel catfish at Squaw Creek Lake near Glen Rose, Texas, plus more of your regional fishing reports right after this. The Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by Chevy, is brought to you by Abu Garcia for life. By Navionics, enjoy Navionics anytime, anywhere. By Whataburger, just like you like it. And by Motor Guide Trolling Motors. Bobber's down, no bobber. Got him. That's a good pull. Oh, what fun this is, hey! Fat one too, that is a spawning female right there. All right, hey everybody. Southwest Outdoors report today, catching some catfish. You know, you can catch catfish in many lakes around our region. In fact, I'm not even gonna attempt to give you a list of the lakes because they're in almost every freshwater body of water across our southwest region. Now that right there is a female. She's full of eggs. You can see her fat little belly right there moving up under those flat rocks to spawn. Now this, as I mentioned earlier, this is a channel catfish. There are actually about three or four different species of catfish that swim around our region. You've got Opelousas, flatheads or yellows, 
blues, which get to be the biggest. I think the state record is in Texas is somewhere over 120 plus pounds. And then channel catfish, which if you catch a five to six to seven pound channel catfish, that's a big one. But this one right here is just a good solid eating size channel catfish about, oh, maybe two pounds, something like that. Great skillet fare. And again, fishing around these rocks. But again, go out this weekend for the next three or four weeks, you can catch them like this shallow with a slip bobber rig. I'm gonna show you this rig a little bit later on in the Academy Right Stuff feature. All right, right now, let's check on our Louisiana fishing reports for this week. Here's Cajun Phil and Kevin. The western part of the state is extremely hot. The water's low, but you know what? Fishing is awesome. Let's talk the Calcasieu River. We're gonna talk about that in a while. There's tournaments twice a week, every Wednesday and every Saturday on the Calcasieu River. Everybody is coming in with limits of bass. What are you throwing? Buzz bait, center bait, and a few plastic creature bait. Over on Sabine River now, that one borders the Louisiana-Texas border. If you fish north of Interstate 10, you're going to catch lots of bass right now. There, though, it seems like crankbaits are working the better. And they are catching a lot of what we call Kentucky spotted, the little red-eyed bass. They're catching a lot of those right now on the Sabine River. If you go north, uh, excuse me, if you go south of Interstate 10, you're going to catch lots of redfish there. They're hitting the spinnerbait the best. There, you can also pick up bass and redfish at the same time on the Sabine River. Tell you what, right now, it doesn't get any better than Southwest Louisiana. Come on down and join us. Till next time, it's old Cajun Phil for Captain Kevin Sands. Happy fishing and may God bless you. We'll see you folks next week. Hey, one of the cool things about Squaw Creek Lake, in case you've never been here, is that you do not need a boat to be able to fish and catch fish here. They have a fantastic park facility where you can shore fish all you'd like to. It is adjacent to deep water and you can catch both bass and catfish standing on the bank. Go to luminant.com at the web address we have on your screen. You can get all the details on the days they're open, the entrance fees, and much more. Come catch some channel catfish like we're catching on today's show. Stay with us. Coming up next, Gary Dollahan has your Oklahoma fishing news. The Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by Chevy, is brought to you by Academy. Right stuff, low price, every day. Nitro Performance Bass Boats, fish your best in a nitro. Costa Del Mar Sunglasses, see what's out there. And by Chevy Silverado, the official truck of the outdoors. Got one. Oh, that's a good pull. Oh, you can hear this braided line, Got this Stransonic braid on here, the new clear blue fluorescent color. I love it on a spinning rod. Come up here. All right. All right, there's a good female channel catfish right there, hooked right in the corner of the mouth. There we go, just a good eating fish. You can see she's full of eggs right there. And let's talk just a second about the baits that you can use to catch these fish. I've got a variety of baits, several different prepared dough type baits that you can buy at either a bait shop or a, a retail store, sporting goods store. You can use uh, bait shrimp right there like you can buy at a grocery store. Also, most bait shops sell that as well. You can use liver, just regular old beef liver cut up into small pieces. And you can also use small shad, cut shad, will catch these channel catfish as well. One thing is that you do not need to bait out a hole this time of the year. For the next month or so, these fish are all up next to these rock ledges. They're spawning, they're scattered out, and you can catch them just moving down those rock banks. All right, let's move along right now and check with Gary Dallahan in Oklahoma. You know, if I had to bet on what species was caught most often during this past Memorial Day weekend, I'd have to put my money on the catfish. I say that for several reasons. One, because most of our waters in the state have a good population of catfish in them. We're getting close to the time of year that some species of catfish are going to be spawning, so they become especially active in feeding right now. And also, 
they will hit just about any type of bait this time of year. So some fishing points for you for catfish. I've got good reports coming in on catfish all across the state right now. So here's what you need to be thinking about. If that water's coming up, pick the high spots to fish, especially if there's some brush on it, like an island or a brushy point. Position yourself upwind from that brush, not too far, but enough that you can either anchor off or position yourself on the bank above that. Put something smelly out there in the water, either a stink bait, cut bait, live worm, whatever. That wind's gonna carry that scent into that brush. Those catfish are gonna come out looking for it and you're gonna catch them. As far as a specific spot to go right now, you gotta look at Lake Texoma. Good catfish reports coming in, also good bass and stripe reports. Bass are being caught 10 to 15 feet deep on crane baits. The stripers are being caught about 15 to 25 feet deep using live shad, jigging spoons, or grubs, putting those baits down there. One thing about it, you can't catch them if you don't go. This week on the Lawrence Hot Lake of the Week, I'm gonna be showing you South Texas anglers, a great spot where you can catch catfish like we're catching here on Squaw Creek. It's Lake Calaveras, southwest of San Antonio. Now this is a power plant lake, so even though the water is hot, these fish will bite right through the summertime months and year round. So let's locate the lake for you on the Lawrence HBS-10, the big widescreen high-res unit that I use over on my nitro bass boat. We show you the outer loop around San Antonio and Calaveras and Lake Bronick are both just outside the loop on the southwest side. Next, we switch to the Navionics Hot Maps Platinum Chart and we zoom in to show you the detail of Calaveras. The lower end of the lake has three major areas for both catfish and hybrid striped bass. The main lake points dropping to deep water like these hold both species. The rock riprap along the cooling water intake on both sides is a great place to fish and the dam drops off into deep water. All three are places you can catch both cats and hybrids. Now the strange thing about this lake is that you can catch both these species, catfish and hybrids, on the same baits. That's right, cut shad and shrimp will catch both catfish and the hybrids will hit them too. Kind of strange, but a lot of fun. That's this week's Lawrence Hot Lake of the Week. Stay with us. When we come back, we'll have your Ask the Pro, your Big Catch of the Week, and the Academy Right Stuff. The Southwest Outdoors Report, powered by Chevy, is brought to you by Strin, the standard of dependability, by Jean LaRue Lures and Bobby Garland Baits, quality soft plastic baits made in Oklahoma with American pride, Chevy Silverado, the official truck of the outdoors, and Mercury Marine. Welcome back everyone, it's time now for our Ask the Pro feature. Our question this week is from an angler in Tomball, Texas who writes, I'm having trouble catching bass on Lake Conroe since the grass disappeared. Can you help? For the answer, let's check with professional angler Russ Clark, a man who has fished Lake Conroe many, many times. Well, that's a good, that's a very good statement. All the grass is gone now. Over the years we've had a lot of grass, probably had about 6,000 acres of uh, hydrilla in at one time. And the best thing to do right now is to take a uh, Take a look at your topos, find you some deep ditches in Lewis Creek, fish all the bins in about 18 foot of water. That's your deep summertime pattern. Now if you want to chase some fish during the day, you'll go hit all the docks in 10 to 12 foot of water. And early in the morning, if you want to throw some top water, throw your rivet frogs parallel with the bank. If you have a question for one of the pros, just visit our website at southwestoutdoorsreport.com, click on the Ask the Pro link, and send us your information. Now here's Barry with your Whataburger Big Catch of the Week. Welcome back everybody. This is your Southwest Outdoors report today coming to you from Squaw Creek Lake near Glen Rose, Texas. Talking about spawning channel and blue catfish. This month of June is fantastic for catching these fish. That's just another average size female right there. No monster, but good fish nonetheless. Let's tell you about our big fish photo contest winner for this week. He is David Reinars of Austin, Texas. It's a two for one special. He's shown here with a 13 pound and an eight and one half pound largemouth bass. He caught the same day, very close to each other at Lake Austin, Texas. The larger one was entered into the Sherlunker Bass Program this past season 
down in Tyler at the Texas Freshwater Fisheries Center. If you'd like to enter the contest, go to our website at southwestoutdoorsreport.com. Everything you need is in the top right hand corner and you'll be able to view my weekly blog, see my favorites page of all the best lodges and guides around the region and much more. Next up, it is time for the Academy Right Stuff feature and I promised that I would show you the slip bobber rig that I've used to catch all of these catfish today. It all begins with a little glass or plastic bead. You go through it, turn it around and go through it again. That acts as your bobber stop. About two and a half or three feet below that is a slip bobber. It slides freely up and down the line. Below that is a little split shot pinched on the line and about six inches below that I use a little two aught offset worm hook like you'd use for bass fishing. And that is a fantastic rig to use for channel and blue catfish all around our region. Hey, thanks for joining us today from Squaw Creek Lake, located near Glen Rose, Texas. It's a great place to fish. You get all the information, the fishing page at Lumina.com, all the hours, fees, all the specific rules about this lake. You do need to read up on those because of the Comanche Peak Nuclear Power Plant that's right behind my left shoulder. See you next week. Our show will be on at 10.30 p.m. on Thursday night. And you can always catch us Saturday morning at 8 o'clock. Set your DVR or your TiVo for the Saturday morning airing because it never varies. You can also watch our latest episode 24-7 at our website at southwestoutdoorsreport.com. And you can catch all of our archived episodes from the entire season at our YouTube channel at YouTube. Com. And finally, check us out on Facebook at our Facebook page, Southwest Outdoors Report with Barry Stokes. Click on the like link and all the video, all the photos, and all the posts will be immediately sent to your news feed or your wall every time we put something up. Thanks for joining us this week from Squaw Creek Lake. Till next week, I'm Barry Stokes. Be safe. Have fun. Bye-bye, y'all.